Prince William claimed he would destroy Prince Harry in a fight, as he is clearly the bigger brother, in a newly resurfaced interview with BBC's Radio 1. Since Buckingham Palace announced a split between the Cambridge and Sussex households last year, rumors started spreading that the royal in-laws were feuding. Shortly after the announcement, royal correspondent Camilla Tomini claimed she was told by two sources that Kate was left in tears by Meghan following a bridesmaid's dress fitting for Princess Charlotte before the Duchess of Sussex's royal wedding in May. However, more recently, reports have emerged suggesting the actual tension was between Harry and William, rather than Kate and Meghan as first thought. Royal author Penny Juror recently told the Daily Mail, William and Harry were once so close, friends, allies, brothers, always teasing, so obviously happy in each other's company. Kate seemed to fit into the relationship seamlessly. They had each other's backs and there was every expectation they always would have. It would be nothing short of a tragedy if that bond between Diana's boys was to fall apart permanently and something the public would hate to see. Despite the brothers being once so united as Ms. Juror said, their sibling rivalry has actually always been quite intense and apparent. During an interview with BBC's Radio 1, host Scott Mills asked the Duke of Cambridge, if there was a flight between you and Harry, who would win? Prince William immediately teased his brother, oh, it is clearly obvious. Me. When asked why, the future king said, because I am bigger. Recalling the time they showed their competitive sides and competed in the marathon in the Olympic Park in 2017, William said, we had all agreed we were doing a show run. Kind of like make it look good but don't make it whatever. Then I turn around I see the glitz in my brother's eye and the grin that my wife's got and I am like, it's on. The next thing I know, the gun goes and Harry is already 30 yards down the track. According to reports, the animosity between the two brothers started when they were young children. Princess Diana's bodyguard, Ken Wharf, told Prince Harry was jealous of the attention William received due to his future as king. The Princess of Wales' former employee revealed Harry's envy became clear during a fight the siblings had in the back of a car. Harry reportedly told William I don't care what you do. I'm not going to be king so I will be able to do whatever I like. According to reports, the animosity between the two brothers started when they were young children. Princess Diana's bodyguard, Ken Wharf, told Express.co.uk Prince Harry was jealous of the attention William received due to his future as king. The Princess of Wales' former employee revealed Harry's envy became clear during a fight the siblings had in the back of a car. Harry reportedly told William I don't care what you do. I'm not going to be king so I will be able to do whatever I like. One day, in the far distant future, Prince William will sit on the throne as he is crowned king. The coronation will no doubt be an extravagant affair and millions will tune in to watch the festivities. Prince William is popular among royal fans and the British public alike, so the jubilant occasion is likely to be met with celebration. But it seems there were times his behavior fell short of that expected of a king, and Prince Harry was forced to take the flak. Whether you're a royalist or a republican, you're likely to have heard of the phenomenon of having an heir and a spare, the principle of having a second son as a reserve king, should anything tragically happen to the first. In principle, the spare is still expected to behave in a manner befitting of a future ruler. But they are also seen as something else, something lesser. And it is this phenomenon that saw a feud break out between Prince William and his younger brother Harry during their teenage years. While their upbringing was far from difficult, the pair had a turbulent transition into teenage life after the mother Princess Diana was killed in a car crash. Although the pair have still grown up into well-respected and well-rounded individuals, championing the same charities and causes which were close to their late mother's heart, her death likely saw them struggle to come into their own in their formative years. Simon Vigar, speaking on the Princes at War documentary, revealed how Harry served as a useful took for his older brother. He said, Harry has obviously got into some scrapes which have landed him on the front pages of the newspapers. But at plenty of those parties, particularly the teenage parties, William was there. 
Harry served as a really useful decoy. Author Katie Nichol added the brothers had a real fallout during their younger years, as Harry was fed up of being seen as the troublesome one. She said, that was the first time the brothers really fell out because Harry resented the fact that he had taken all the blame but of course William was the hey. Harry took the flack and Harry was very cross about that. He refused to speak to his brother or forgive him for some time. The air and a spare phenomenon may not affect Harry so much in later life, however. Now sixth in line to the throne, there is no real risk of Harry becoming king anytime soon. And with his new wife Meghan Markle helping him carve his own path within the royal family, with baby Archie Harrison at their side, it seems Prince Harry may have finally found his place after all. Jonathan Spangler, senior lecturer in history, Manchester Metropolitan University, wrote in the conversation, the position of the spear became unbearable. He was required to behave in a manner that was impeccably princely and yet if he looked too strong and too confident, he was seen as a threat. These unresolvable contradictions led several second sons into open rebellion against their older brothers and many ended their lives physically exhausted, their reputations in tatters. But he added these may longer be of issue to Harry, saying, in the modern British monarchy, Prince Harry does not need to compete with his brother for political power. And he no longer realistically needs to be prepared to take on the duties associated with sitting on the throne. With Prince Harry, the history of the second son may be taking a new turn. A more dedicated dynastic public relations specialist, Harry appears to be using his position of inherited privilege not just to support the ongoing power and influence of the dynasty but also to impact favorably the world around him.